Yes, David. Are you saying that the, 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 the uh, discussions are coming to an end and that all the, all the players are going to be available, all the English based players are going to be available? Is that your understanding? Yeah, look, I don't, I don't know the exact details, but what I'm hearing is that um, there will be, uh, we'll be able to select from a strong squad, um, so our, our players will be getting released. Um, I don't know how many yet, but uh, it's looking positive, so that's, that's encouraging because uh, this morning um, we didn't have that, those details confirmed. Do you feel a sense? I mean, I know you guys, you know, you're going to say you're concentrating on the game today, but I mean, do you feel a sense of relief amongst the guys that might have been affected? Yeah, look, the, the, we've not talked about it with our players yet, so um, we'll do that once um, we get back to the hotel. It is a live situation, so we're, we're just hearing this um, on the conclusion of our game. I don't, I don't believe the players would have thought about it. They, they had a game to focus on today, and they would, they would hope that they'd be available for selection next week. So. We'll be able to say that to the, the squad later. Thanks, Vega. Vega, just to be um, just to be absolutely clear, uh, are, are all the players is the uh, is the agreement with uh, uh, English Premiership Rugby so that you'll get all of the players, or is it with uh, piecemeal with, with, with the clubs? I'm not, I'm not sure yet, Richard, on on the details. I'm just know that uh, it's going to be a positive outcome. So whether that's all the players or the majority, we'll, we'll find out soon. As far as today's match goes, uh, would you have, since it's a great performance, um, great scoreline, would, would you have rather had uh, going into uh, the France game a, a, a sort of tougher test? I think the, the goal is to, to go into the France game with, with confidence in each other as, as teammates, but also with as fresh a squad as possible. Now you play a test match, there's going to be um, some sore bodies over the next couple of days, but we did manage our squad today. Um, giving other players opportunities to start managing game time and it looks like we have no injuries after the the weekend after sorry today Johnny Gray is continuing his rehab as is Finn Russell who is who's available to play from tomorrow so those are the positive signs we just need to to make sure that in this six day turnaround for Friday night's game we we continue to do the best to recover and and get that one or two training sessions that we'll have this week at a real high quality Gregor, until recently, these matches, uh, Tunisley and Scotland, were always fairly close, and, and Scotland approached them with perhaps a degree of trepidation. How much has the change been Scotland's improvement, and how much has been Italy's decline, you think? Well, I'll let you guys answer that one, but um, we, we always approach these games knowing that Italy um, are a very tough team to break down. I think after five, ten minutes, we, we saw uh, the score in that first try that it was going to be a real challenge so it, it's a credit to the players to to stick with with what they wanted to go out and do today and um, the effort they put in uh, and some of that the skill they showed to to get ahead on the scoreboard I think you need scoreboard pressure against Italy if they if they're ahead at half time and um, then they get confident uh, but if you can put pressure on them by getting ahead they're gonna to have to try other things and with the with the attack that we had and defence at times, it did force penalties, which made it much tougher for them. Thanks. OK, should we move on to um, the Monday session? OK, short questions for... Sorry, a short Monday session then, McGregor, thank you. OK, move on to 10pm, McGregor, then, please. Stuart, are, you, are you going to be agitating Rob Baxter and Gregor to be a ten more regularly, or is that was that just a bit of fun? I think for me, I'd you know I'd, I'd like to think I've I've made a good enough job at playing uh, playing fullback throughout my time. So I think there's a lot better players that can that can play ten than me. But um, for me, I just want what's best for the team. If that means I'm playing ten or means I'm playing fifteen, as long as we're winning test matches and winning games of rugby, I don't care where I play. You talked uh, yesterday about. Feels uncomfy, and maybe that could be a good thing. Did it work out like that? Did you feel more comfortable than you thought you were going to be? 
Um, at times I felt we were very much in control of it and at times I was really quite uncomfortable because the pace was quick, we, we lost structure a, f a fair amount in the first half especially um, and that's the kind of times that you have to rein it back in and you know nobody said it was going to be plain sailing and easy um, but I found it really quite challenging at times but a challenge that I really enjoyed. I had a lot of fun out there today alongside the rest of the boys um, and that, that, that showed in our performance. I think we can take a huge amount of confidence in the fact that the way that we've wanted to try and play has, has worked for us, you know, throughout large periods of the Six Nations and um, our defence has been spot on, our attack has been very, very clinical. It's just a little bits in between that have let us down over the last couple of weeks. Um, I, I, but we know fine well where we're going wrong. We can take a huge amount of confidence both sides of the ball from today um, and get excited about another challenge against France next week. I think it will be one hell of a, a battle for us, um, but we're very much looking forward to another opportunity to represent Scotland and, and make sure we do our, do our best. You know, We're more than capable of going across to France and winning, uh, and that's the what we'll start gearing up for now. I, I know you said you, were, you, know, you enjoyed today a bit nervous, but I take it you want Finn back next week for the good of the team? Yeah, look, he's, he's a world-class talent. I've, I've no doubt he'll be back in the 10 jersey next week. I was quite happy to to step in for uh, a little bit today, but um, now we'll, we'll leave it to him to drive us around. He's been absolutely outstanding uh, for myself and Yako and the rest of the boys this week and, and all his involvements, um, which is which has been outstanding for him and just shows, shows what he's about. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Well, that's, I think that's six tries and nine caps for Duhan since he made his debut last year. Just how impressed have you been with the way that he's taken to, to test match rugby? He's been outstanding, hasn't he? I think that the pleasing thing for me is that the Duhan works incredibly hard in his game. You know, he's always getting the best out of his body in the gym and, uh, and performs day in, day out in the, on the training field. And, and that reaps the benefits you can see you know, when it comes to game time. He's been a breath of fresh air for, for our team. Um, I love the way he goes about his work. But he's also a great character off the field, someone that um, I thought I would take a little bit of time in getting used to, uh, but we've gelled and bonded really quite well. Um, I have a lot, a lot of time and a lot of respect for him, so long may his form uh, continue for us.